Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans? And where the heck are the Albans? We are actually in Joliet, Illinois right now. We, uh, I don't know if you, if you saw the vlog a few weeks ago when we were on Route 66. Well, we're doing Route 66 again and we're doing that uh, event that I talked about, which is the Red Carpet Corridor. Um, but we had just got into Joliet, Illinois and I just wanted to show you something. It's actually on Route 66. It is the very, very first Dairy Queen ever in existence. This is the original Dairy Queen store established in 1940. It's a Joliet local landmark. It is no longer a working Dairy Queen. It is now uh, an insurance it's Auto place. Insurance. Prezano Auto Insurance. But there is also a plaque on the ground that says on this site and in this building erected in 1895, the world's first Dairy Queen store opened on June 22nd, 1940. And it tells all about the story. So, there it is, the very historic building, the very first Dairy Queen. Ah. My feet. Your feet, your shoes untied. No, it's not, it's actually not. Yes it is. Oh, yes no, it is. <laughs> hey, look who's joining us today too. This is Evan. <laughs> This is Emerson's boyfriend, Evan. Let's show your face, Evan, please. <laughs> Hi. And then look at Fiona. Hi, Fiona. The puppy came with us today. Yeah. Okay. So let's go on to uh, explore Route 66 and the Red Carpet Corridor. Woohoo! Okay, and our very first stop of the day is going to be the Route 66 Visitor Center. It's also attached to the... Um, Joliet Historical Museum. And here we go. We got a 57 Chevy sitting out here. Bel Air. Bel Air. Oh my goodness. Look at all the look at all the cars. This is awesome. And we are at the Joliet Area Historical Museum and Route 66 Welcome Center. Look at this. This is a group of enthusiasts that will follow Route 66 today for the Red Carpet Corridor. So let's go on into the museum, see what they got. It's Jake and Elwood, it's the Blues Brothers. So here is a route, or a map of Route 66. We're right there we're in the big where it says Joliet. But it goes all the way. Through Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, and California. And here's Vivi behind the wheel of a classic Corvette. <laughs> that looks awesome. This is sort of in the back of the museum. They've got all these chairs made out of classic car tail fins. A little bit of history. Uh, in Joliet, in June, they also have a Star Wars Day. And there's a little uh, exhibit of Star Wars Day. And then, up those stairs right there, is the Joliet Museum. And we'll come back for that one day, just to show you the museum. It's very, very interesting. It's all about the building of the I&M Canal um, and, the, and the history of, of Joliet and the area. So, very interesting stuff. We'll come back for that one day. So, uh, let's, uh, let's go on into the gift shop. I'll show you the gift shop of the... Uh, of the Route 66 Museum. So this is inside the Route 66 gift shop. They even got soda pop. Route 66 soda pops. And stuff. But they've got purses and backpacks. I like the back. I love the backpack. That's awesome. And look at that. you can buy a Route 66 sign. They got pens and 
pencils and coffee cups and metal signs, license plates. Shot glasses. Yep. Flags and maps and pretty neat stuff. Look at little Christmas ornaments even. <laughs> even over here they got things about the Joliet prison. Every year, they give uh, they do a little giveaway. Uh, one year it was wooden nickels with the name of the town on it on one side and the uh, Route 66 shield on the other. But this year they have pins uh, that you could wear on a jacket um, or put on a cork board or something like that. And it says the 2017 Route 66 red carpet corridor and it's got the, the town name on it, Joliet. And they got the Blues Brothers on there. All right, so let's see what the uh, the rest of the pins look like as we go along. And just on the outskirts of of Joliet, Ooh. what's wrong? Ooh, we have a we have a turned over semi here. Oh, I hope no one was hurt. I hope not either. My goodness! Oh, look at that. That that is a doozy of an accident. I don't see any ambulances, so no. They probably so. already left. Well, he or he just no, he just flipped over. That's all. So. I'm going to say that he's not hurt. That's yeah. Okay. Wow. But anywho's the, the reason why I actually turned on the camera in the first place was to let you guys know that um, right on the outskirts of Joliet is the Route 66 Raceway, which is. Uh, where they, they're doing NASCAR now, they do drag races, um, and all that kind of fun stuff. So if you're into NASCAR, if you're into drag racing, they even do the um, demolition derby here, which is really super fun. We've been to a demolition derby here. Um, it's right over here at the Route 66 Speedway, and I'll give you a little bit better view when we, uh, when we go by it. <laughs> so right over there in the distance, that is the Route 66 Speedway. And that's where they have the NASCAR events and things. And then over here at the smaller stadium is where they have the drag racing. And the demolition derby as well. We are definitely going to a demolition derby this year. I know. That was so much fun. All right. We are in Elwood, Illinois, which is the next town on Route 66. And this is the Welcome Center on Route 66 for yeah. Elwood. Is this for mommy? Mm-hmm. Grab my pen for Elwood. And Elwood actually has uh, Rosie the Riveter for their pen. Look at this old tractor. was invented right here in Elwood, Illinois by Lloyd Swede Erickson. So lots of different tractors are here in Elwood, Illinois. This is where the first tractor was invented. It was in Elwood, Illinois. So this man, Lloyd Sweet Erickson, he actually held the first patent on four-wheel drive conversion units for farm tractors. Very windy in Elwood today. Here are a couple, a couple of sculptures. 
we got. What happened in here? Whisper. She's doing okay. That. Whisper. Let's, let's whisper. Hey, Fiona. Fiona, ready? Whisper. <laughs> <laughs> There's the whisper. She's so <laughs> nice, baby. Ah. So this is a recreation of the um, the statue of the disaster. It's a memorial for the workers that worked in the ammunition plant during World War II. Uh, and there were two main explosions, two big explosions uh, at different times, just a couple years apart from one another. They have a Rosie the Riveter. So Rosie the Riveter. Um, and this sign tells all about the Elwood Arsenal. Help from the home front. So here's the story about the deadly blast. An explosion rocked the Elwood plant in the early hours of June 5th, 1942, rattling windows 100 miles away. It was the most deadly ordnance plant disaster of World War II, injuring 67 workers and killing 48 with the remains of 16 never found. If you're wondering where Rosie the Riveter, where the idea came from, it came from the Elwood Arsenal. That's awesome. Here in Illinois. And so they have decided to put a sculpture up of Rosie the Riveter right there. Evan's going to take our picture as we sit in the middle of the road. Professional photographer. Not a historic. Route 66 sign. And the next town after Elwood is... I don't know. Wilmington. Oh. <laughs> it's Wilmington. And we are at uh, the launching pad. It uh, used to be a restaurant, but it has closed down. And uh, uh, I had talked about this in the last vlog uh, on Route 66 that we did, but there's Emerson and her boyfriend Evan getting their picture taken in front of the Gemini Giant. Okay, so we are in Wilmington and we were about to go downtown Wilmington for the red carpet corridor and they always put on such a great little festival and a uh, little street fair. So we're going to cross the bridge over the river and go downtown Wilmington. River's a little high. We've had a lot of rain in Illinois. Sort of like we are now in Wilmington. Thank you. And here is the street fair that they do for Wilmington. Pretty big, pretty nice. So, in our last vlog, uh, I talked about the Eagle Hotel. And that's this place right here. And this was uh, this was actually a stop on the Underground Railroad. So when slaves were trying to escape from the South and they came up north here, this was one of the hiding places for them. The historic Eagle hotel and they do say that this is one of the few places on route 66 that is haunted it is haunted by a ghost okay. Okay. so they want me to draw something on the ground so i'm just going to draw a quick uh, mickey mouse okay yeah. draw an original monet <laughs> Speaking of him, Mickey's. My grandfather was a Marine Raider in Guadalcanal and never. <laughs> Why does he have three eyes? He doesn't, that's his cheek. Oh.
There it is. And there we go. Okay, you got a better. A real quick Mickey Mouse. Oh my god. Ten dollar haircuts. That's a good deal. I don't care who you are. All right, Wilmington Chamber of Commerce. I think this is where we get our pin. Wow, that is strong winds today. And the pin, or the button, for Wilmington has the Gemini Giant on it. Look at that. Pretty cool. Okay, so that was Wilmington. So... On to the next town. Welcome to Braidwood, Illinois on Route 66. Population 6,200. You know, you're a dad, you want to go... So yes, today at the Polka Dot Drive-In, we got a car show going on. Look at that, the old Cougar. On this side, we got a bunch of muscle cars going on over here. Sorry about the wind. Very, very windy today. Charger. Oh, look at that. Mercury. Got a lot of bikers going down Route 66 today for the festival. Hey Fiona, are you enjoying the day out with us today, huh? All right, here we are at the Braywood Chamber of Commerce. This is where we'll be getting our pin and our button. Okay, so here is Braidwood's pin. Now, last time we were here, we talked a little bit about this sculpture garden, and it's what they call the Braidwood Zoo. <laughs> so, uh, we'll get a little closer, closer look at everything. Everything's done by an artist uh, called Jack Barker. So if you're in Braidwood and you see a pink elephant, that doesn't necessarily mean that you've been drinking too much. You just might be walking by the Braidwood Zoo. So we're a little bit amused uh, because the road, the part of Route 66 that goes by the uh, nuclear power plant is closed right now during the Route 66 Red Carpet Corridor Festival. Yeah. <laughs> so. Welcome to the Route 66 Red Carpet Corridor. Route 66 is closed. <laughs> Moose outside should have told you. Moose outside should have told you. But we are, uh, so we're just, uh, but the, the detour ends up here a little bit. Uh, I guess they're just doing some road work uh, on Route 66 right there. Okay, we are in out in Godley, and it is so windy outside. I just wanted to talk a little bit in the car. Um, Basically, we got our Chamber of Commerce, uh, which is right, the building right in front of us. And then they got uh, a mining museum, a little mining museum. 
And so we're going to take a peek in these two buildings. And uh, But the Chamber of Commerce, we're going to see what our button is. Let's go. There's the Chamber of Commerce right there. And there is the mining museum. Coal mining was huge around here. And look, they got free coal. Help yourself. Free coal. Free coal. I don't know how much is in there, but... It's not much, but we got three pieces. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so the button for Godly... It's got a little miner's cap on it because it is uh, coal miner capital, Illinois. Let's go on into the uh, the mining museum and check that out. Northern mine from 1927 to 1974 mined 14,000 acres around here. 44 million tons of coal in the middle 30s to the late 40s, and they employed more than 470 men. What is that? Mark Hi. T-shirts are $15. Huh? What's that? T-shirts are $15. Oh, t-shirts are 15 Al Capone, it's got bullet holes in it. <laughs> I love it. So here are some of the the tools of the trade when they were mining. It works. So we are now in Braceville, and we're going to go into a little chamber of commerce and museum. And our Braceville pin. That's a classic Corvette. A lot of people. <laughs> yeah, got it. Different samples of the rocks. Yeah. Yeah. The church community. That, the school. <laughs> yeah. From 1910. <laughs> the social life. The town itself. I love old pictures like this with the dirt roads. It shows the the life. Downtown Braceville. Celebrating the return of World War One veterans. Yeah. Well, the gardener. Uh, button is of the jail <laughs> because they have the two cell jail built in 1906. And if you saw the last or the, the blog that we did on 66, we showed you this and told you the story about it. Evans, right where he belongs. Right in jail. <laughs> I need I need one of those metal cups. Just yeah. <laughs> Gonna take a picture of no, Evan and Emerson in you jail. Are you sad or happy? Hey. <laughs> Fiona does not like the fact that you guys are in jail and you were leaving her behind. It's okay, Fiona. We're okay. Okay. Now what do you get? One other thing that I found interesting in the town of Gardner is this man right here. Um, let's see, what, what was his name? Reverend Christian Christensen. Uh, he wound up being a spy uh, during World War II and helped us win a couple major battles in uh, World War II. Uh, he led them to the location of some secret tunnels where the Nazis were um, hiding and, and storing uh, ammunitions and um, uh, cannons and things like that. And he lived here in the town of Gardner. We're going to go over to the, uh, the streetcar. We couldn't go in the streetcar last time because it was locked, but now that the red carpet corridor is going on, we can show you inside and they're giving away free 
root beer floats today. So let's go on inside and get a root beer float and show you what it looks like inside the streetcar diner. So yeah, so let's go on inside the, the diner. Hi guys, how's it going? Floats. So when it was in okay. operation, here's the counter, next door here and that's what you see right over there the is the counter, and here's so some tables, just a minute. and behind, this is where the kitchen used to be. So they've take, they've removed the kitchen, and actually painted the kitchen back there. I would, I would, Here comes I the most important you. lady. Oh, no, no, we're fine. I just, I'm the sorry. ice cream I mean, and the root beer. Get that. <laughs> so I do want to show you one other thing, and that is on this streetcar, there is a small pedal over there in the corner. Thank you. And they want you to be very gentle with it because it is over a hundred years old. But if you touch it, there is a small bell. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, wow. <laughs> Where is it? There's a small bell from the streetcar, because when this was a streetcar, this is where the driver would be. And there's a small pedal, and when you hit that pedal, the bell rings outside. <laughs> Vivi, what you got there? You got a root beer float. Yep, in the bucket, the blue bucket. Awesome. Mona's having a small fit, because she wants to go play with that big dog right there. And I think the big dog wants Fiona to come over and play as well. I think the big dog wants Fiona to come over so he can eat her. So a nice little park. We got from the American Legion, dedicated oh, the to and in the memory of the men and women of this community who served their country. Run, run, have a run. Then there's the streetcar diner and the and the two cell jail here in Gardner. Very, very nice. Okay, so we're having a lot of fun on Route 66 during the Red Carpet Corridor. Uh, this is the end of uh, day one, basically, our, 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 of the vlog. And we will see you guys tomorrow for the second half of the Red Carpet Corridor and the towns that we haven't gone to yet. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. If you like what you see, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe down below and leave us some nice comments. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Bye. Bye.